Greetings. So this is going to be another quickie reading and this is going to be a self love reading. So I've been putting out a lot of love readings today and I feel like, you know, it's only right. It's Venus Day. So what better way to kick off Venus Day than with self love read? So let's go ahead and tap in. Okay. Shout out to the modern tarot, the modern love tarot for their tarot spreads that have been, you know, inspiring me today to get these love reads out to you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and um, ask the question around self-love. And for those of you listening out there, the listeners, I pray for divine protection over you. I ask for our benevolent ancestors, our divine angels and guides to protect us. Holy Spirit be with us. God's source, I ask for divine wisdom and truth and clarity that will be healing, revealing, clarification, peace. That will come from this message or this reading or food for thought some of these messages may pertain to you some of them may not okay all right what part of the self needs more love what parts of the self needs some more love at this time what part of the self needs some more love for this collective those who are meant to receive this message beautiful card how can i be kinder to myself so how can the collective be kinder to themselves what can we do to be more kinder to ourselves? Mm. Okay. And how can you bring more love into your life? What can we do as a collective to bring more love into our lives right now? What can we do to bring more love into our lives? Okay. And let's see, what expectations needs releasing? What expectations do we need to release? What expectations do we need to release? Okay. What gift can you share with? Whoa, whoa, spirit is like, here you go. Here, take this. Okay, I got it. Cool. So what can, what part of the self needs more love? So loyalty, the loyalty that you give, like, like a dog that is loyal to their their mate, their, I didn't mean to say mate, but I guess mate as a friend. So their owner, their their person, how a dog would be loyal to their, their mom, their dog mom, dog dad, whatever. Um, you have to be loyal to yourself and a friend and more compassionate to you. Like show up for yourself where you're loyal to you. Like your word is bond to yourself. Like you owe it to yourself. Okay. Um, I'm also getting a part of yourself that needs more love is the part of yourself that is a good friend, you know, or shows up for others or if you are a loving pet dad, pet mom that show up for yourself and I'm getting to really work with the sun. Okay. Literally the sun, cause I'm seeing a lot of yellows here, solar energy or sunflowers. Okay. Something with the color yellow, most definitely the sun or sunflowers is coming up. So how can you be more kinder to yourself? More kinder to yourself is allowing yourself to be in that state of restoration, like really pouring into yourself, okay? And being patient with your restoration and your process, because some of you guys may need to rest more or you're finding yourself just resting and you might feel a little bit guilty for that. I feel like there's a need for balance, you guys. Be kinder to your body by giving yourself a lot of water. Some of you guys need to drink more water, literally, okay? Some of you guys, um, cardinals, seeing like, I'm not sure what bird this is, but cardinal came to me, but seeing this bird, it's like a red and black bird. It has like a red chest, red head and like black, like black beak and wings and the rest of their body is black. So I don't know if you know what that bird is. Look it up. I might have a message for you. I'm also getting Apollo energy, the Greek god Apollo Apollo is also known as an oracle or a prof like for prophecies. So for some of you guys may know these things already. Spirit is saying be kind to yourself. You may feel like you're overwhelmed by the energy that you're receiving. I'm kind of getting this Aquarius energy. Um, how can you be how, how can you bring more love into your life? So 
solitude. Being in this place of solitude and just kind of being at this place of rest and peace within yourself and not worrying too much about tomorrow worrying too much about the future like just give yourself that that grace to just be in solitude if you can okay your anchor your source needs ground like you need that ground i'm hearing like you need that source of groundedness um and spirit will guide you and, and light the way for you. you don't have to worry okay or put too much emphasis on what's going to happen next, what, who, where, like what, what's going on, what's up? Like you don't have to put too much emphasis on that. So what expectations do you need to release? So there could be a vision that you're holding on to, and it could be a vision of maybe what self looks, self love looks like, or how you should present yourself. It's, it's like, it could be a little bit of coming from a place of perfectionism, coming from this place of what you feel like confidence is and it may be something that's outdated um yeah you might have to do some shadow work around what confidence really means and how you're supposed to be how you're supposed to present yourself could be a little restricting on you as a person or at, in your growth you may be a little too fixed okay in that and it may be coming from a place where it's not fully nurturing you know what I'm saying? I hope this makes sense. Um, so lastly, what gift can you share with the world? What gift can you share with the world? You have, ooh, you have Oshun with justice and you have transformation. So the gift that you can share with the world is you are someone that people benefit from your kindness and your love. Yes. But they also benefit from your truthful nature and telling it like it is and holding people accountable, but from a place of honor and justice, not from a place of harsh criticism or judgment, but from a place of, you know, that wasn't cool. You know, that wasn't right. Um, you know, lovingly putting people, you know, in their place. And I hate to say it like that, but people benefit from your truth and your honesty and holding them accountable or not sugarcoating things or you know, letting them stay in oblivion or, or lay in their bullshit, but doing it out of love as well. And your transformation, and I feel like is also also inspirational. OK, so. Yes, this is what I'm getting like, you might be that that black horse that comes in to bring justice and bring an end and ruin to things that are not of the highest good. And this can also just be your inspiration um, you being an inspiration through your transformation. Okay. So much love as always, you guys be blessed, be safe. Peace.